Have you visited any beautiful human-built or planned places? Have you ever visited a location that you can call as art? Where in contrast to the abilities required for construction, a place that employs design and building techniques? Well, that's what you call architecture. Good day to all, this is Jonna Asbuhian, a BS and Filipino major from 2nd year PMG03. I will now tell you about my favorite architect and the, the well-known pieces that I adore from him. By far, architect Francisco Bobby Tranco with Manosa is my favorite architect. His parents were Manuel Manosa Sr., a sanitary engineer with a Harvard education who served as a director of Metropolitan Water Works and Sewerage System from 1947 to 1955, and Mara Troncoed, a pioneering actress in Philippine cinema. Manyasa was born in Manila, the Philippines, on February 12, 1931, and grew up in an upper-class neighborhood on Axaraga Street, later renamed as Recto Avenue. He played jazz piano, went by the nickname Bobby, and initially planned to pursue a career in music. However, his father insisted that he pursue architecture at University of Santo Tomas instead. As a pioneer of Philippines' neo-vernacular architecture, he was a Filipino architect who was regarded as one of the most significant Filipino architects of the 20th century. In 2018, he was honored as National Artist of the Philippines for Architecture for his contributions to the growth of Philippine architecture. His sense of style integrated Philippine design, elements, and regional components like coconut and regional hardwoods. First, the Coconut Palace, also known as Tahanang Pilipino, a government structure situated in Manila, Philippines, cultural center of the Philippines complex, is one of his well-known creations that I myself adore. Then there is the Pearl Farm Beach Resort in Samal Island, Davao, which is located on stunning islands that are home to blooming mangroves, white sand beaches, and rock formations. Lastly, the La Mesa Watershed and Eco Park, a 33-hectare ecological park that provides natural amenities where people can retreat and recharge their batteries.
Arquitectas Francisco Manosa left behind a heritage of Philippine architecture that is both fundamental to our national identity, the Filipino identity, and much admired in the modern world. Through design, through design that, that, that really identifies the culture of the country. And that's all I have to say about my favorite architect. I hope you learned something that will someday help you appreciate art, particularly in Filipino art. Thank you and God bless.